In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a calculated column in Desmos in order to in linearize data that appears to be a side opening parabola. So what we're starting out with is a, a table that I already have that has lengths of a pendulum and the period, the time that it takes to swing uh, one complete cycle uh, for the pendulum. Uh, the lengths are in meters and the periods are in seconds. We can see that we have a graph here that doesn't look like it's linear. It may be a little bit linear, but it kind of looks like there's a hook to it, kind of a curve. But we'll double check like we always do uh, by doing linear regression. So I'll click on expression. And the vertical axis is the period, which is capital T. So I'll go T1 and then the tilde to prompt regression. And then M times L1 plus B. And the R squared value is 0.9819, which is not super convincing. Um, and the curve of this scatter plot becomes even more visible with that regression line in there. You can definitely see it starts up below the line, moves to above the line, and then ends up below the line. So the curve becomes really prominent. So the poor R squared value plus the fact that there's an obvious different pattern leads us to think that maybe a line is not the best fit for this set of points, not a really good predictive model. So let's turn that off. And the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to insert a group of points by just adding an expression. And that expression is going to contain only coordinate pairs. So what we want to do, because we linearize side opening parabolas by taking the square root of the horizontal axis variable is we're going to put it open parentheses to start our ordered pair set and then we want to take the square root of the lengths so I'm going to pull my little keyboard up here and click the square root key and then under the square root I'm going to put L1 because I want to take the square root of all the L1 points and put a whole set of uh, points in here by coordinate pair and then I'm going to put a comma and then T1 and then my parentheses will be closed and that's in red and if you look over on the graph you can now see that those points exist I'm going to close my little keyboard uh, I want to find the best fit line for this new set of points but I can't do that with this expression so I need to put those in a table here's how I do that click on the little gear icon and then for my set of coordinate pairs I click on convert to table and now I have this table here. I'm going to change X which is really the uh, squared square rooted L1's. I'm going to change that to S1 S for square root I guess and then for Y those are periods so I'm going to do capital T and I'm going to use 2 because T1 is already taken and now that I have this information in a table, I can do regression analysis. So I'll click on expression. And then the vertical axis is T2, so T2, and then tilde, M for slope, S1, the square roots of lengths. That's what's going to go in there for the horizontal axis value, and then plus B. And now if I look at the line, it looks like a much better fit. The points, what little bit of deviation there are from the line, looks more random and not like there's a different pattern. My R squared value jumps to 0.9963. And I think I've found a better model. Hope this helps.